Man, <laughs> where the money reside, where the money reside, where the money reside, where the money resides. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, y'all. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious, illustrious host, Khadija. Listen here, family. I have a, a few stories that I would like to bring magazine style like we do. And each one of them have a significant, uh, pretty much, um, commentary that needs to be done on. Okay. So first, <laughs> the first one is, um, and this is just to put a little closure on the Meghan Markle, um, Prince Harry, uh, story. Uh, and, and, and that is this, y'all. Who the hell, who the hell thinks that Prince William um, is really done with the whole thing? Let me raise my hand first. <laughs> um, I didn't think that William was as racist as, um, he's definitely the queen's uh, son. He definitely probably is going to be next in line. I mean, there the fact that he would state that there's no he's not a racist and there's nothing racist about them and he's been carried by um black people up on the one of their traditions when they go to some of the islands of like the Fiji Islands or some islands that are, that are inhabited by told uh, black islands this fool is being carried by black people up in the air him and his pale face wife and he's got the nerve to sit there and aesthetically can't see right there in itself. This is a racist ass tradition and you shouldn't even take part in it. And the reason why it's okay with you is because you have a history that is based and lamented and marinated and cooked in the oven with white supremacy. You know, I just wish I could tell all the good white people out here. White supremacy is everywhere. We've been trying to tell you. So don't try to blame this um, Asian hatred on black folk because you'll find sporadic incidents of black people saying you Asian fuck or you, uh, you know, Chinese whatever. Don't try to make it seem like black people are responsible for the hatred um, that is now being perpetrated against the Asian American community. No, it's white supremacy. It's got us all in bondage. And until y'all understand that, yeah, you'll see a few uh, flies in the buttermilk, uh, a few Asians in the buttermilk. You don't even find some Asians that might get up there and talk crazy. Well, these are isolated incidents, and then you know that he's an agent for white supremacy. Okay? Just like when you look at that riot on January 7th, 6th, and all those people bashing in places, male and female, Caucasian, pale faces, and you see one long black fly in the buttermilk with a bat busting stuff up too. What the hell was on his mind? What the hell gave him the impression that he could take his black ass up there and start bashing on it with... You know you ain't getting out of jail. So, so far I've stated you need to stay in there. Because you need to have, you need for to understand that you're going to be the poster boy for how long we can keep somebody in jail for trying to uh, participate in the same activities that white people do. When it comes to destroying something. How dare you be so stupid? I digressed. Let me go back. All right, I don't mean to be all over the place. Let me give a shout out to you all over the world. I don't even know if I've said good morning to you because I'm, I, I'm just disturbed. It says Prince William was left reeling by his brother's bombshell television interview with friends insisting that claims he was trapped were way off the mark. All right. No, it wasn't. His brother called it like he saw it. Okay? You know, you don't, you, 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 you can't buck the dynasty 
the royal family. You can't buck that and think you're going to get away with it. Harry was Diana's baby. Okay, that was her baby boy. A lot of times the baby boys and the babies, is, especially boys, who are extremely close to their mothers, most of them, emotionally, all that. Okay? That's how uh, boys are. That's how they're wired. Okay? Nothing special. It's just how they're wired. Just like a lot of women are wired. We are receptors. And, and so um, that's why you have a male plug and a female plug. And the plug gets plugged into. You understand the concept? So I believe that Harry probably said, listen, they didn't kill my damn mama. They ain't too far off killing my black wife who is really... Biracial, but everybody gonna consider her black now because of this foolishness that she got one drop of black blood in her. Go figure. I never knew she was a black woman. I never knew Meghan Markle was black. Never even heard of her. I saw her maybe in a couple things, and, and but never consider her a black actress. Okay. Now, what's wrong with y'all thinking that if Harry no? And have a feeling in his gut that they would kill his mother. That he would want to stay up in there with them crazies. And figure out how the way to get his babies and everything up out of there. With the least possible um, drama that it could possibly be. So when they don't get killed. I mean, come on, use your head, people. So, in terms of William being upset about the interview, it's like William. Uh, you better zoom in on your mama's spirit, son, because Prince Charles is gone. He's part of it. He's part of the madness. He probably was the racist that said what color the baby gonna be. The one that could uh, go and get the young girl to have babies by him because he never really loved Diana. He was wow. always in love with Camilla. So that raunchy uh, madness in itself is is off the chain. He all the time they were married, he was having an affair with Camilla Bowles. Shit never stopped. Soon as Diana was dead, he married her. Okay, should have did it in the first place, but she couldn't bore him any children. She was too old. <laughs> Cut it out, you guys. Now, with that being said, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. This whole thing. Now they sitting up here talking about there's no racism. I. And they the one damn near created colonialism. What the hell is really going on? You see the big mind screw? Y'all got to read. You got to understand how this stuff works. Or you'll never understand how we in this situation right now. Those of us who do not remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Over and over and over again. We in a whole situation that y'all don't understand that the devil is on the rampage all over the world. So either we're going to stand up and be counted. The world is being shifted right now, whether y'all want to accept it or not. This coronavirus, all this madness on about this reconstruction uh, 3.0. This is what it is. They are reconstructing the society. Some of y'all ain't going to make it to the other side. I'm doing my damn best. I never know what's in store for me. But you can bet I'm not going to be up under the devil's lair. That you can bet. And some people say you can't find no peace all over the world uh, because um, um, the old phase have infiltrated the whole uh, global family. Yes. Yes. But I show uh, what bothers me about let me say something. What bothers me about Trayvon Martin's murder so bad is when he had to sit up there and go help, help, help me. All he's seen around him, he took his last breath, were white people. That really bothers me. Oh, it bothers me in my soul as a parent, as a mother, as a grandparent. That right there, watch this, y'all. Hold on. This is somebody that needs to shut up. Be quiet! Now listen, that is the one of the most saddest things for a person to think about. 
So at least if I'm going to be sitting in that situation with a bunch of uh, uh, people standing over me, I don't want it to be a bunch of black people that hate my guts, that are full of self-hatred, evil, robbery, and mayhem. I don't want to see them. And I don't want to die in a thrones with white people standing over me. That Maybe some of y'all don't think about that. Because, it, you know, I do. But I would much rather be in a situation where I feel safe. Or I much be rather, if I have to look up and people surrounding me and they're peaceful and I go, let them be black people. Let them be people that are not violent. Let them be people who are not um, filled with any kind of spirituality to help me make my transition. Ugh. My brother's death make me think about that so much. And I can't just say white people because the last person that probably stood over him was a black person. That's who was. Somebody looked just like him. So, I don't want y'all come at me with this racist type of shit. Because, no. Yeah, black people who are sick, who are um, infiltrated with white supremacy. And they will do you just as bad as any white person. Because they have been taught and trained to hate themselves. And it ain't nothing like a black traitor. Oh, my God. If you, don't, if you think it is... I'm here to tell you it ain't nothing in the world like a black trader. So let's just move on. Boom, boom, boom. So I can tell you about the San Francisco school board member who refuses to resign after her 2016 tweets calling Asian Americans house niggas who embrace white supremacist thinking to get ahead is now in hot water. <laughs> Did y'all hear what I said? These were her exact words. She said, do they think they won't be deported, profiled, beaten? Being a house nigga, oops, a house in is still being a in. I'm sorry, y'all, because I might get this video flagged. So you're still considered the help. The entire senior staff of San Francisco schools has denounced a black school board member's tweets that claim Asian Americans use white supremacist thinking to get ahead. On Sunday, 19 top administrators at the district central's office condemned the 2016 tweets from the board's uh, vice president, Allison Collins, according to the San Francisco Chronicle. The official said the tweets perpetuate gross and harmful stereotypes and leave no room for the nuance or potential misunderstanding. Their statement addressed, addressed Collins' tweets that she shared on, uh, uh, on Twitter, I guess. Collins said that Asian Americans had used, had used white supremacy thinking to assimilate and to get ahead. She also included a reference comparing Asian Americans to house ends. Uh, Collins has not resigned from her position. Instead, she uh, directed people to an op-ed she wrote that was published on the medium. I say shout out to you. Shout out to you, Allison Collins. Shout out to you for speaking truth to power. In Gambia, they just done burnt down the Chinese uh, police station and they burnt down the Chinese factory. You want to know why? Take a damn guess. Because Chinese people are over in Africa taking over. Uh, trying to put them in the same slavery that white people had us in. In fact, there's one article I brought to y'all not long ago that these white landowners that have apartments that a lot of uh, uh, different African students are renting from them or different families went over there, I mean, went down this road and throw all the black people out for no damn reason. After they paid their rent, they got them digging for gold and digging for diamonds and beating them while they doing it. 
The same thing King Leopold did to Listen. I understand exactly what she mean. And I second that emotion. So those of y'all who are mad and angry at Allison Collins, I want to say shame on you. Don't get mad at her words. Just listen to uh, what she said. Because I want some facts over your damn feelings. I don't care about your feelings. At all. At all. Because most of y'all don't care nothing about ours. And you haven't for over 400 years. So let's quit the crap. Right? I just want to stand in the truth. And if I stand in the truth, hell, I might get hurt. Hell, some of the stuff pertain to me. I ain't no angel. I didn't fall from heaven. I'm from this planet just like the rest of y'all. Okay? So it's important that we start busting white supremacy in his ass. So struck pussyfooting around this stuff. You've been doing it for too long. That's why you got high blood pressure. That's why you got uh, 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 high diabetes. Every damn thing that they done gave us and helped perpetuate our mental and physical sickness. Because we can't stand up to the dragon and say, you know what? And everybody that do, we get ashamed of them. Or we don't support them. Or they go to jail and we'll spend more money at a Jay-Z and Beyonce concert than we will to help our freedom fighters. People that fighting for you and your babies to be free. Don't you think there's something wrong with your mindset? And if you don't think nothing is wrong with you and you satisfied or you comfortable thinking, well, it's always going to be like this. It always have been like this. You a problem. You're not a problem for white supremacy, but you're a problem for black people. Because if slaves thought like you, well, you we would never be where we at today. <laughs> if the people from the civil rights movement was cowards, like that particular statement being made, there would have never been the passing of the civil rights bill. You would never be vote. Period. So, or whatever rights that came, that they end up watering down or ended up still uh, 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 twisting it and, and, and making it something else. Well, that's because we didn't um, we didn't know that it's a fight every day. We didn't know that we got to be prepared to fight every single day. In the days we're not fighting, we're supposed to be sparring. We're supposed to be fighting every day. Oh, oh, it's a fight. In the morning, it's, that's what it is when you're a black person living in America. White supremacy is a sickness. And you don't know who's inflicted with it. That's the scary part about it. And then for us, as lay people, we got to be worried about the police, the white supremacists in the police department, the white supremacists that walk down the street and throw acid on people or try to lynch you, or the white supremacists that even look like you. We got to deal with all those entities in our community. We are under siege by everybody. So if we don't know by now that we got to love each other and stand by each other and, 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 and stop this self-hatred and, and pluck out those of us who don't want to move forward collectively as a progressive group of people, we got to figure out what to do with them. Because they can't keep uh, eating off us and we allow it to go on can we I don't know y'all we got some banking to do I'm going to get off now because I don't want to be flagged too much and I hope I haven't said too much stuff that YouTube disapproves of so that's why I want you to join me on my Patreon channel where we start aiming start tier aim for five dollars a month I think that's what it is um, but let's talk and let's get some content where we can really, really talk unhypocritically from up under the um, authority of YouTube because this is their f format and I still appreciate being able to make videos on their format, but I'm for black empowerment. You understand? We need our own stuff because this, and we need to understand that Ain't nothing going to work. 
is too ingrained in the fabric. White supremacy is too ingrained. Blood is too much dripping from the hands of America. So either we're going to learn that and wrap our love around one another and begin to call out these uh, wayward Negroes and these infidels and riffraff. And until we begin to do that, you know, we won't be able to see our way clear of what the next move is going to be. So, I'm Hugo. And I know that there may be a little controversy with this video. So, um, if you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. And I'm still going to see you in the next one. How about that? How about that? I'm still going to see you in the next one. Oh, YouTube going to have a good time.